All right, quick collection video today again. Um, as you can see, plenty of Reebok boxes. Uh, not as many as my last video with the Shaq collection. I went um, a little bit overboard there, but uh, uh, this one is very special to me. Um, and those of you that have seen my previous videos know that this is my all-time favorite basketball shoe from Reebok and probably all-time favorite shoe at all. Um, it's the Reebok Kamikaze Ones. Uh, and they're the first signature shoe for uh, Sean Kemp, the Rain Man. Um, I've said that many times before, but I'm probably going to say it again many times uh, throughout this video. And without further ado, let me just jump in and uh, start grabbing boxes and showing to you uh, what it is. So I'm going to start from, again, the left side on your screen. And as you can see, that's what it is the white black and racing green other known otherwise known as the original of the very first colorway that Sean Kemp got and actually this is the pair that he rocked uh, throughout the whole season of 94-95 um, here they are for me personally this is the most uh, beautiful and most amazing design that Reebok ever created uh, when it comes to the basketball uh, everybody has their own personal favorites but this is mine I think this shoe when it came it was so bold so different um, so out there uh, it was nothing like it on the on the court and with these you see them um, Sean Kemp rocking them on on the on the basketball court and no matter where on the court he located when the camera points that direction you can always uh, see him and know that he's there because of the shoes they were so uh, so iconic and so visible. Um, what really is um, attractive to me is kind of like this top to down view. Um, kind of looked like this the white uh, underlays or the upper because the the black new book is the overlays. Um, the white upper kind of formed like a like an alien. You know what I mean? Like um, like from the movie Alien, just grabbed the whole shoe and wrapped around which is extends to the outsole uh, absolutely amazing outsole in my opinion um, and yeah I mean it, it looked great when I saw them in the store I remember the day uh, I just instantly fell in love and I, I knew that this shoe is it's gonna be, make a huge impact on me um, they introduced several design languages here uh, kind of a new things uh, one thing being the stitching right here on the toe dipping a little bit forming this kind of a U uh, shape um, other thing that they introduced is this double uh, double lace holder right here on the ton. Usually some most majority of the sneakers have only one, but these have two. So really when you take them off the the ton is not falling down. Um, and that was that was something new as well. Uh, what really um, really was great as well the the inner lining and the padding was just super super plush back in the day uh, although the retro is pretty thick and nice back in the day the original one was a lot lot thicker um, the shoe had only the hexalite which uh, kind of kept the cost down a little bit um, around ninety um, one hundred dollars so they sold a lot of them um, Sean Kemp was such a big figure back in the day in the season 94, 95 and 95, 96 were his strongest um, so he was just he was a monster he was um, killing it on the, on the court and these were just amazing uh, I love them so much uh, uh, cool little story I probably told that before but uh, years before these were even planned to to retro I saw a pair on on eBay uh, kind of look at it because it was posted for like amazing amazingly high uh, number it was like four or five hundred dollars and actually they sold for near seven hundred dollars uh, and I saw that I was like, man, I was never, I'm never gonna get this shoe again. And and all of a sudden they they um, started retroing them, and I was able to get multiple pairs, which I'm really happy about. Uh, a lot of people slept on that shoe, and for some reason they like the Kamikaze two more. Um, from my opinion, this is more iconic, better looking than the twos, and uh, I like them more. Um, I like the twos as well. They're in my top ten Reeboks for all time, but this one is just simply amazing for me. <clears throat> the little changes they did with the retro, uh, it's uh, the Vector logo. The original pair had um, the white third part of the Vector right here. 
Uh, also, the toe uh, was completely green, the whole thing right here, uh, and not just this bottom portion. I don't know why they did that. Uh, again, the little changes that Reebok does, but at least they keep the majority. Of course, the hex light is not like the original, but yeah, we, we all know how that, that's going. And that's uh, pretty much it. Of course, the inner liner was a different material, was um, uh, one of that. Uh, a very well done sweat absorbing one also the vector here had the white as well so very tiny little changes but uh, let me go put this one here and grab the next one uh, so from the original one obviously when they came out I kinda thought that they they're gonna sell out as soon as they uh, hit the market uh, similar to what happened to the original Kamikaze 2 but I guess uh, you know in my my surprise people didn't like them that much or didn't love them that much as I do uh, but I went ahead on a release date and I grabbed two pairs so I used some discounts and instead of 115 that these um, released for uh, kind of weird actually this one has a different paper inside the box I grabbed two pairs for around $90 each uh, they further uh, went and uh, dropped significantly more than that and I grabbed a third pair for about $35 which was kind of sad when you think of it uh, this shoe in my opinion deserves a lot better attention a lot more uh, love from everybody uh, but uh, yeah it is what it is here's the second pair as you can see again DS um, and my I wear my third one all the time so I'm gonna place that one on top of the box here again and push it along with the other ones um, let me grab the other boxes and as you can see I have a box with a with a rubber uh, string again this one came from YCMC of New York these guys always uh, always gave me good prices back in the day and this is the black and white pair uh, with a little uh, Royale blue vector right there um, very similar to the original one minus the green accents uh, one thing I forgot to mention that on the original one right there uh, the pair that Sean Kemp wore actually uh, had his name right here on this panel saying Kemp um, so the black and white again very clean with those little touches of Royale blue I absolutely love this pair and again I had to uh, grab uh, two of them uh, to uh, have for the uh, future coming times as I mentioned before I'm not sure how long Reebok will continue to make retros um, the future is not very bright unfortunately but it is what it is um, and this one as you can see on the box is the flat grade team purple and white uh, otherwise otherwise known as the um, P for Isaiah uh, that he uh, rocked well he actually didn't rock this pair but uh, they were prepping uh, two colorways for him um, from uh, of course the, the Shoot, I forgot my uh, my thoughts, uh, my lucky books. So, uh, my lucky books. Of course not. Ah, man, the the beauty of the live uh, filming. <laughs> anyway, so I forgot the the team he played for. Oh, Sacramento Kings, of course. Um, anyway, so this is one of the pairs that drop uh, on Reebok.com uh, and many other places. Uh, the other, the dark. Uh, purple one uh, for some reason they only released in uh, in small sizes uh, GS sizes I don't know why but that was that was the one that I wanted more it was a little bit more attractive to me but uh, anyway I had to grab these as well I think they look pretty clean um, white inner liner very plush again very nice um, so yeah I have only one pair of these um, and uh, Maybe further down the line, I'll grab a second one if I see it somewhere on a deep discount. Uh, I, I think I paid like um, 60 or 70 on freebuck.com uh, for these, but then they disappeared from there. I think a few other places have them, but uh, I'll grab them further down the line. 
And actually this is my second favorite colorway from the original one. As you can see right here, the black and red one. Black, red and white. I think they're called, uh, let me see, yeah, they're called black, red, black and white. But this one is well, was one of those colorways I, I always, always, always loved uh, growing up along with the original one because black and red is my favorite color combination and when these came out, um, just this this pattern looks great in, on the shoe. No matter what colors you put, pretty much, uh, it just looks amazing. Uh, again, this top-down view for me is absolutely, absolutely mind mind blowing, uh, and I love the extra hints of red they put on the midsole. Uh, kind of gives it a little bit more character, in my opinion. So, again, grab two pairs of these as well. Uh, all these that are just opened up for you guys are DS. All these are DS, uh, and the ones that I wear are kind of on the other side. And this is the last one, and actually this is the first colorway I saw in the store when that shoe came out. Um, for some reason they had these ones first. And here they are, the uh, black and blue. Uh, nowadays they are cold, very weird name. Um, Blueprint, black and white, as you can see, originally retailed for 115 uh, but I didn't pay that much, I can tell you that around fifty dollars for uh, pretty much everything else other than the original two colorways that I grabbed on the release date and I paid around ninety for those so this one was the first one I saw and I really um, it's funny because I had I actually had the money to buy that uh, but right next to them was my one of my probably my second favorite shoe and the one that was never released and probably will never be released the uh, blacktop alternative and those of you that uh, follow me on social media and all that uh, you guys seen my avatar and um, that's the blacktop alternative I had it as a kid they were right next to each other because the alternative was white and black and it was a lot more visible I chose it uh, to, to get it um, and didn't get the the kamikaze in this colorway because it was more subdued and um, you know as a, as a teenager I wanted to be visible and not <laughs> not subdued so um, yeah I grabbed, uh, I grabbed the alternative. It was an amazing, amazing pair. Uh, then later on, uh, the original colorway came up, and I, of course, I didn't have the money to buy those. So I rocked uh, what I had, and I was, I was happy with it actually because it was a huge achievement for me. I, uh, it was one of the first shoes that I bought with my own money. Uh, of course, my parents didn't have any money to buy me any kicks, so it was up to me. Um, and. This one actually I have right here because I wear all the time. It's my third pair of uh, the original colorway. Love this shoe. It's in my constant rotation all the time. Next one that I just temporarily placed in the box because I just don't have space in my closet anymore to keep them up outside. Uh, that's the the black and blue pair. Uh, again, worn them a ton of time. I actually uh, worn them to the office as well because they're so subdued in colorway. And these are the last two ones I have. The black and white pair that I wear as well all the time, especially when the winter now approaching. And the full time, I'll be pulling those out right away and start rocking them again. I, I just love, love, love this. Uh, this shoe is just bring me, brings me so much memories, and uh, I love it. This is uh, this is what it is, you know. For me, this fueled my my love and my obsession with with all those kids kicks growing up and. Uh, I just had to had to buy at least two pairs of each because you never know if they are ever going to get released again and this is the black and red pair again worn it many many times uh, love it and these actually are, it's kind of funny because I got them for um, this price from the Reebok outlet you can see 
$29 and I think it was like 10 or 20% off so around with tax I paid like $25 which is super sad to me that these went to the outlets uh, for me they're like absolutely beautiful shoes um, and I'm glad I, I can have them in the collection so yeah um, that's uh, that's pretty much it guys uh, keep it short a little bit this time um, again this is my old time favorite shoe uh, and I think it's the the top uh, design coming from Reebok basketball for all times I think um, just just is amazing uh, has a huge history in my mind and uh, is pretty much every first signature shoe for almost every player um, always ends up being the best for some reason so that's that's for me as well a uh, little note uh, Reebok didn't release the low uh, pair uh, of course Kamikaze one had the low version which uh, Sean Kemp rocked during the all-star game in 1995 it was the black and white uh, actually a friend of mine had those but uh, judging by the poor um, sales they did with a uh, Kamikaze one mids uh, I don't think they will ever receive uh, will ever release the low version unfortunately otherwise I would have caught multiple pairs from them as well uh, love it the difference was they were just low uh, obviously and the vector was placed instead of the hill uh, right here one uh, on this panel uh, where the four foot is uh, similar to the Kamikaze um, twos and that's pretty much it guys uh, if you like the video hit the thumbs up support the channel uh, stay tuned with more I have a few exciting pickups that are coming in soon uh, that I'm super super stoked to show you and uh, stay stay tuned to collectivekicks.com for more sneaker news reviews and history articles and that's about it have a good one actually one quick thing I forgot to mention about the retros and the shape there um, they're doing with them uh, for some reason I, I don't get it it's with pretty much all the retros these days they, they just can't get the shape right like completely huh? if you look at the profile of the shoe the original one starting from the toe all the way up here to the last lace loop it was kinda like a, a natural progression and now you have this bulge right here for the toe then dipping down around where your toes finish then start climbing again um, I don't know why. I mean, what, can they not figure it out? The molds again? What's the deal? I mean, obviously they did it back in the old days. Um, it kind of looks a little bit funny on the side because realistically the shoe was supposed to be like like this, um, more flat and kind of like I said, natural progression. But for some reason they they couldn't figure it out. So I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. But anyway, I still love the shoe. Thank you. Till next time.